Hello everyone, my name is Angela Marina and today I'm gonna share a little bit about the story behind my wayang set artwork. So, this is the first part of my wayang set which is called wayang tukang becha. So in this artwork, I'm trying to change people's perspective about many tukang becak or becak drivers because according to my research, a lot of people underestimate it and uh, underestimate tukang becak and they are usually lowly seen. So in this artwork, I'm trying to ch uh, change people's perspective so that they could actually see that tukang becak is actually a hero in their own ways. So in here, I'm putting tukang becak into the figure of wayang from the story of Mahabharata. Uh, this is, um, I use the character of Arjuna. He is the hero of the story. And so I put this tukang becak as, a, as Arjuna. So in this, this is actually inspired by Agus Leonardos, my e artist. So he usually compare Superman with Tukang Becak because he thinks that Tukang Becak is a hero just like Superman and besides an, besides the production of concept and ideas um, technique is also another consideration so in this artwork for example I I am inspired by Patricia Davina in her use of uh, materials like aluminum foil and newspaper in creating texture painting so that my artwork could look more realistic and this is the second part of my wayang which is called wayang modern biker and um this is actually the oppose uh this artwork is actually opposing the first one because the first one is more like traditional and this one is more modern in this artwork i'm trying to say that People's perspective has changed because of globalization and their perspective especially has changed about bicycle or becak because becak is no longer used as a transportation or bike is no longer as used as a transportation but rather used as um, a recreation or hobby like in this picture in this uh, artwork I mean uh, I figure uh, I picture the wayang the wayang, like he is high, uh, riding bic a bicycle for recreation. So I am mainly inspired by Roy Lichtenstein in depicting the modern era. So I use he, uh, I imitate his use of primary colors of yellow, blue, and red, and I also imitate his use of band bandai dots. And I also use geometric shapes and lines in order to depict the modern culture. So and for the presentation, I make this wayang screen. So I use, I use bamboo and woods for making the, uh, the frame. And I also use bathic cloth in, uh, for, the, for the screen. So in order to create this, I explore batik making and batik process. I learn how to nyanting and dye the batik. And from here, I learned that uh, batik is very hard to make because it is very dependent on material. So we cannot really, um, we cannot really underst understand or we cannot actually decide, decide what our batik might look like when it is finished because it is very dependent on material that that is the reason why batik is actually expensive and the purpose of making the screen is actually for the shadow puppet as you can see here you can see the shadow of the wayang puppet from here um, I make the wayang so that the leg can move like it is riding a bi uh, cycling the bicycle or the becha uh, and so i actually adapted the characteristic of wayang here like in this why in this type of wayang the arjuna he is featured as small and slim while the bad character of wayang or the modern one is featured 
uh, big. And one interesting part of uh, the characteristic of Wayang is the head of Arjuna because it's always bowing down to the earth which symbolizes humbleness which is also um, which is also one characteristic of the Kambechak. So I'm I'm kind of comparing the Kambechak and Ar Arjuna. So I use Arjuna to symbolize the Kambechak. I think that's all from here. I think you can understand how I construct the idea and concept of my artwork and I and also the process of my and making my artwork. Thank you.